my friends. My name is Ed DeCosta and you found my Get Edified video blog. The subject this week, well, Billy's dad said, <laughs> what am I talking about? Well, I recently completed a corporate offsite, a, a leadership team offsite for our clients. And, and we dealt with some significant issues, but a very, very cooperative group. They collaborated with one another. There was not an excessive amount of positioning and posturing or politicking or any of that. And there was some of it, but there's always some. But a very, very effective group. We had a lot of fun. But during the offsite, I was getting a mixed vibe from the CEO who, had, who was following the instructions to participate but not dominate the conversation. But I could tell there was something you know, bugging him. I wasn't sure if it had to do with me or the offsite, or maybe it was something unrelated. But anyway, after the meeting was over, had my debrief with him, very, very complimentary, very happy with the results. And he said, well, I've got to tell you, Ed, one of the things that's very frustrating to me is, is some of your major points, I'm telling you, I have said time and time again, till I'm blue in the face, as blue as this shirt. And I said, well, do you remember the phenomenon? You remember the phenomenon of uh, when you were a child or when you were raising your kids, you could tell them things, pearls of wisdom for mom or dad. And they go in one ear and out the other. The child doesn't seem to get it or the adolescent. And all of a sudden, another adult, whether it's Billy's dad or Susie's mom, it doesn't really matter. It could be a teacher or a coach or, or somebody, another person in their life says the very same thing that you've said and yet it, it strikes the child, same child as brilliant. And they come home and say, hey, dad, guess what? Billy's dad said, you know, eating your vegetables helps you perform better. And uh, cramming for exams is, is counterproductive. You ought, to, you ought to space out your, your preparation for exams over a period of time. No kidding. Boy, that Billy's dad, he's a genius. Meanwhile, of course, you've said it over and over again. So I, you know, the CEO was kind of laughing. And one of the things that I had suggested during the offsite, when we were talking about customer satisfaction and customer retention. I said, well, yeah, have you done the steak dinner? They had not heard that before. And I said, well, this is the steak dinner with your top 10 customers. It's not during a sales uh, season. You're not, there's no uh, bid. You know, there's no proposal being considered. It's just a normal every day week and you tell some of your best customers top 10 that you want to have a nice dinner not a casual lunch not a cup of coffee but a dinner and over that dinner you bring up the point hey we love you you love us the whole barney theme <laughs> and and then you say well if you had a magic wand and you could change something about us what would you change more often than not the customer says no 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 you guys are great you're the best but you know and well, we just had a nice dinner. I'm just asking if there's anything that comes to mind, that whole magic wand, if you had a magic wand and you could just have us change one thing, maybe more, but at least one thing about our product, our service, our delivery, anything that we do, what comes to mind? And I'm here to tell you, quite often the customer will tell you, you know, we love you, but there's something about you guys that, has gotten on our nerves or a certain department is not crazy about you, it really does uncover some, some un, unknown, some hidden opportunities for you to even uh, get a tighter and closer relationship with that client and, and close the door even more tightly on your competition. So I, I suggested that they thought it was great. And that is the point that the CEO got a little miffed at because he has suggested something quite similar. He doesn't use the steak dinner or the magic wand, but it's the, essentially the same point. And so that's why we had the conversation about, you know, kids' responses to other adults as opposed to their parents. So what's the upshot for this blog? It's, it's sometimes bringing in an outside person, not to be any better than you are as a leader or, or be any smarter or better prepared, but just a different voice, a different perspective, a different communication style. Often the things that you are saying that have, you know, they kind of become tone deaf to you. All of a sudden, the very same principles, the very same points can all of a sudden fluoresce, stick to the wall, so to speak, and then the organization, the leadership team can achieve at a higher level. 
So that's the point for this week. Again, my name is Ed DaCosta, and I hope you found this helpful. And wherever you are, Billy's dad said, make it a great day.